We see these protests erupt all around the global and university campuses everywhere. Students are demanding their universities to cut all ties with Israel. And I wondered to myself, what would that look like? I did a bit of research to see what this complicity looks like, and this is what I found. This is my research, okay. Israeli scientists have managed to grow a whole model of a human embryo outside of the womb. This was one of the largest scientific discoveries of last year. It's set to revolutionize treatments for both infertility and birth defects. Yale and the Wiseman Institute of Science have discovered how cells talk to each other, which is helping in the development of new cancer drugs. That same institution, together with the University of Oxford, have developed a new crowdsourcing system to speed up the development of new drugs and vaccines. This has already created over 18,000 new ingredients for medicines. This one you have to see. The Israel Institute of Technology have developed an exoskeleton called Rewalk, which allows people with spinal cord injuries to walk again. So cool. Okay, scientists at Ben Gurion University have trained goldfish to drive a robot. A massive breakthrough in navigation systems. I love this one. Bar Ilan University have created nanodrops, which fix vision without the need for glasses or contact lenses. The Hebrew University, along with the University of Strasbourg, have made a discovery about liquefaction that can save thousands of lives during earthquakes. Three American and Israeli scientists won the Nobel Prize Award for simulating chemical reactions in computers. Their work has been used to design new drugs and much cleaner cars. I would say that's a really impressive list of things to have come up with in an hour. I think Israelis should be really proud of their achievements and what they've contributed to everyday society. Can you put that in please? <laughs>